Real Scene TV is paid for by Leland Brown State Farm Insurance Agency. Welcome to a brand new episode of Real Scene TV. We have a jam-packed episode for you featuring music, local filmmakers, the community, and more. Here's what's coming up. Local artist Young Skrilla stops by the Real Scene TV studios. Going back to high school, Terrell stops by Northwest High School to talk to player-turned-coach about how he gives back to his alma mater. Um, so, you know, it's a lot different now that I'm not playing the game and I'm just coaching, uh, but it's something that I love. I'm still around the game, you know, it's a game I love, so I'm blessed to be over here trying to make a difference in these kids' lives. Lost and then found. We sit down with local filmmaker Lakeisha Lorraine about her latest film, Lost, and learn about her red carpet premiere. What I like to do and, and what my company, it is faith-based, so we uh, produce and publish and promote Christ-centered or positive entertainment, um, but it's real. You might hear a cuss word here and there, um, because there's a real people. Plus, Ebony Chappelle stops by with the latest recorder news, and we're giving away a pair of tickets to the Red Bull Air Race at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Hi guys, I am at the Sheraton downtown Indianapolis, I'm here with comedy sports players. This is their hallway. And what I'm gonna do is called Knock Knock. Who's there? No, Hotel Knock Knock. And our featured music video from local artist Beans. Don't go anywhere. From our couch to yours, Real Scene TV starts now. Real Scene TV sponsored in part by the Story Foundation, making dreams come true. I'm here at the Sheraton and I actually have a guy from Indianapolis. What's your name? Uh, Tim. Tim from Indy and Brighton from San Antonio. From San Antonio. And she said that she has a knock knock joke, so let's hear it. And this is courtesy of my eight year old, so my apologies. Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Oh, yeah, we. Got you. Yeah. Every time that like joke gets time. me. Every time. Thank you guys. Who's going to win the whole thing? Um, I'm, I'm biased. It's, 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 it's probably going to be Indy, but you know, there, there are a lot of strong teams out there. So smart man. Yeah. Who do you think? I will not disclose my, <laughs> my psychic visions. <laughs> she means to say Indy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, go have fun. Thank, right, you. thank you. As I was saying, we are here with three guys from Minneapolis. Beautiful Minneapolis. Come on, visit us. Don't not. Even if you're unsure of what that meant. Free Wi-Fi. Good housekeeping is sold there. Housekeeping is sold there. I'm not sure if he should still be in the game, but yet he's still following along with the alphabet, so you're still in. Just keep doing that, Josh. Kiss me. Like that, wouldn't ya? <laughs> My husband would not be okay with that. Nope. Oh, sorry. Peter Pan. <laughs> People, do we repeat the piece? <laughs> Quickly? Right, uh, usually we don't. We would just pick up with the next letter. So I forgot about the alphabet. <laughs> Too late to restart? Uh-huh. <laughs> Verily, I'm holding a microphone. Well, that's our interview. X-rays show that people who live in Minneapolis are healthier. Z at the end, comedy sports. But there's a Y. <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> Winners of the 2016 Comedy Sports World Championship. Stop running so I can say it. Indianapolis! So now I am joined by barber, tattoo artist, hip hop artist, man of amazing, Young Skrilla. Written through lights and water and gas at the same time. Nine to five won't cut it. Bitch, I'm on my grind. Full throttle just killed the full bottle of Remy Martin. Damn. That liquid courage got him heartless. Nigga, you the talk uh, uh, uh. about mine. I eat it. Anybody can get it. So, 
Tell us about your sound and your style. First off, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, my sound and style comes from uh, the struggle and growing up, you know, uh, having having a passion for music, all the way from Dirty South, Far East Coast, West Coast music, not just in the original genre. You know, I'm open to all kinds of sounds, so it's just developed with my own crap in time. So, a little known fact about you is that you were homeless at some point in your life. Yeah. How does that play into your music as an artist? Well, giving you the inside of the real, because nowadays music is a lot fabricated, and people believe it's all glitz and glamour. And some artists be afraid to speak the truth on the stories and what they really live versus what they want people to know or think. So then you're, you're single, Ric Flair. Let me check my wrist, check well. my wrist, well. white diamonds, white, just they call them Rick, yeah. call them Rick, yeah. Yeah. Don't curry with the shot, boy, I'm in there, so I'm in so bust it down. You know, I feel like everybody got a little Ric Flair in them, if you're familiar with Ric Flair, you know, he was loud, you know, outspoken, shining, doing his thing, every time you see him, he spent more on his, his attire and his show, how he brought it out to the people versus what he was bringing in, of his own residuals, you know what I mean, and that's really my story, I spent more on doing what needs to be done versus what comes back once I've transitioned from the streets into So a lot of times in, in rap music, a lot of critics say that rappers glorify the wrong things, violence, drugs. What are some things that you're doing in your music to change that? Uh, I, I give them both sides of the story, you know, versus, like I said, uh, making them believe everything's just the glitz and the glamour. You know, what comes behind selling drugs, what comes with toting pistols, what comes with being out in the streets past times that you know it's nothing good going on, you know what I mean? Uh, a trap house, you know, deliver that true message of it to give an understanding for those who just hear it and take it one direction. There, There is perks to everything, you know, there's good with bad, you gotta take them both when it comes hand in hand. So with your music, with your singles, your music overall, what is your inspiration? What's the main goal behind it? The main goal is to reach someone, get them through a day, hear my message in the song. Because this is not your everyday music. Every time I hear it, someone else hears it, it's like, man, what is going on? You know what I mean? It's like a good vibe. So I'm just hoping someone reaches, sit and listen to it long enough to hear the message that I'm delivering to you to actually catch the drift of it. Because I'm getting you somewhere. I'm going to get you through a day, lifetime possibly, if you ride with me long enough, you know what I mean? That really be what it is, Help, helps someone understand the difference from always maintaining on the same aspects in life and knowing you can step out that margin and do something different, you know, whether it's wrong, like selling drugs illegally, just things that ain't making sense that's going to leave you to a dead end. Just, just try to think outside that box, be yourself. Kind of have people learn maybe from, from your life experiences. Take heed, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree. Thank you so much. Thank you. What better way is there to connect with teenagers than to be able to say, I've stood where you have? That's just what Abe Toffleek did. The former Northwest High School football player now coaches the team. Real Scenes Terrell Woods goes back to his high school to talk to his former teammate. Northwest, are you ready? Yeah! yeah! Northwest, are you ready? Yeah! Go! Oh, oh, oh. Out of all you seniors, which one of you guys want to be positive role models in this community later on? So that's, that looked like every hand. That's what I'm talking about, Coach. They actually want to be grown men, don't they? We can get better than this. This is going to be our second best opponent of the year so far. And we're going to have to bring it on Friday night. If we want to achieve our goals for this year, which is win 10 games, play for a sectional championship. If you don't bring it, it's 
going to be a lot of sad faces that night. Academic excellence carries over into life, so we're just teaching them those life lessons. It doesn't matter what you do, you always want to do your best at it. That can be in the classroom, on the football field, at your job, you know, with your parents, uh, your girlfriend, anything that these kids could be going through on a daily basis. We want them to put their best foot forward and to do their best in whatever it is, and it starts in the classroom. Calling the strength away from the back, which is where you go. Butter, butter. Here with a good friend of mine, A. Tafik, coach. But he used to be my player. We used to play together here at Northwest High School. Player turned coach. Tell me about that, coach. Uh, some of the best times of my life, you know, playing football here at Northwest. So when the opportunity came back for me to coach the team, I jumped at it. It's like a dream job for me. What inspired you to kind of come back home? back to Northwest, where we grinded it out, bear crawls all day long. Yeah. What what sent you back? How did you get back here? You know, it wasn't that um, I decided to come back. I didn't decide to come back. I originally was trying to go over and coach at Broad Ripple High School. That's where I was doing, uh, I was an assistant coach over there when I first started the Indianapolis Teaching Fellows uh, Teaching Program. And, um, you know, when I finished the program. They didn't have any jobs available over at Broad Ripple. I ran into our principal, Michelle Britton Watts, at a job hiring fair. And, um, you know, it's kind of like a match made in heaven, really. I tell people all the time that I feel like I'm on a divine assignment and that God kind of directed me in this area. And I really didn't have anything to do with it because my mind was set on going to Broad Ripple and coaching over there. So you have the same feeling I have about a Coach Sadam or, yeah. Co or a Coach yeah. Mack. Yeah. And honestly, those are like father figures even if you have a father. Right. So you are, you are, you are helping grooming these little men into being grown men. Yeah. Boys to men as we knew it in our day. Man, right. <laughs> you know, I grew up without a father in my life and my coaches, Coach Mack, Coach Sadam, Coach uh, Newland, Coach Cannon, all those guys who coached over here when I was here, those were like my father figures. And you know, it's similar now. We got a lot of kids who come from single parent homes and uh, you know, they look up to us as, as male role models, as father figures. And you know, uh, we take that responsibility very seriously. Yeah, uh, this year with Coach Abe has been fantastic. He taught us a lot of things. He's been a great role model in our lives. He, he really looked out for us. Are you going to college? Yes, sir. Where you going? Uh, pursue engineering at Purdue. Ooh, he's going to be smarter than me. I don't know what to tell you. I'm telling you, engineering? Woo, boy. A lot of kids look up to you. I know that they, they're following your, your mentorship, your role here. Yeah. Tell me so, about some of the things that the kids have done here. You know, um, man, we have went from my first year here having 25 eligible football players to this year we have about 55 eligible football players, um, you know, which is in itself uh, you know, a great accomplishment for us. Um, we have tougher academic standards than a lot of the schools that surround us. And so for us to be able to, you know, get players that were ineligible when I first got here and now they're, you know, focusing on academics and they're eligible now, you know, our message has been student athletes. You can never be an athlete without being a student first and then building good character. You know, we knew if we built uh, the classroom focus and we built character in the kids, you know, we'd win a lot of football. You guys had a couple big wins this year. Tell me exactly what you feel you're going to do in that game. We're going to win again. And again. again. You got to come out to find out. You got to come out to find out. You ain't going to know what's going to happen if you don't show up. You know that, right? You better come. Want to see the Pioneers in action? You can check them out on Friday, September 30th against East Chicago Central and October 7th at Short Ridge. Do you know someone that's making a difference or a real impact in our community? Contact us on Facebook and tell us about them. We just might feature them on the show. Coming up after the break, we sit down with local filmmaker Lakeisha Lorraine and some of the actors in her new film, Lost. We get the latest news from the Indianapolis Recorder and our featured music video from local artist Beans. Plus, find out how to win those tickets to the Red Bull Air Race. Don't go anywhere. Equipment for RSTV provided in part by Robert's Everything Photo, Everything Imaging. Get ready to crawl. My Drink On presents the annual Crawloween Bar Crawl in downtown Indianapolis on Saturday, October 29th. Check into Taps and Dolls at 8 p.m. and crawl your way through some of Indy's hottest downtown bars. Drink specials at each location and your chance to win $500 in the costume contest. For tickets and more information, visit MyDrinkOn.com and click Party Here. Real Scene TV is sponsored in part by Leak Tees. Get the Love Indiana tea and other custom designs at MidwestLeak.com. Say a prayer, people turn to live. 
one make time. it through the day, but it's just a maze. Don't try. Every day I wake up, I feel like giving up. Yeah. I feel like that I'm stuck. Hustle like just to pay the bill. Dick got paid and I'm broke. Yeah, I just got paid and I'm broke. Think I'm losing hope. Every day, getting smoke. I pray I ain't next, though. I pray you ain't next, folk. I, I just want to blow. Help me rap. Real Scene TV, sponsored in part by the Story Foundation, making dreams come true. Looking for the best in indie nightlife? Look no further than the Taps and Dolls Complex. Located at 247 South Meridian, the Taps and Dolls Complex offers not one, not two, but three floors of nightlife fun. Check out our collection of games at the Boiler Room Barcade, dance the night away at Taps and Dolls, or take things to the next level at the 247 Sky Bar. Pay one price and get three hot clubs, or visit Joker's Comedy Club for free admission. One, two, three levels of fun. When it comes to indie nightlife, the other guys just don't add up. When I look at Okay, so what do you want me to do, Chris? She has nowhere to go. How did we get to this I'm gonna make it. With you, on the other hand. I ain't so sure. I know there's a reason and people have seasons in your life, God don't make no We mistake. can't have kids. But Lord, but God I'm doesn't make mistakes. To forget and forget, swallow my pride, Lord, I can. <laughs> Jesus, show me how to love people. It's part of things that they do. I want So you just watched the trailer for Lost, a new local film produced by Loving Life Productions. And I'm joined by the actresses, Nakia White, Deja Henry, and the woman behind the vision for it all, Lakeisha Lorraine. So Lakeisha, let's start with you. Just tell us, what is Lost about? Um, Lost is about a family. It's about a family of three who discovers love, acceptance, and forgiveness through an unexpected loss. So it really touches on that family piece and how important it is in your development as a young person all the way into adulthood. Um, as an actor and as an artist myself, we always are trying to figure out people's backgrounds and what makes them how they are. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of times when you meet people and when you talk to them, you find out a lot of who they are as an adult or even as an older teen, um, which a, a teen is one of the focal points in this story, has a lot to do with their, um, their upbringing. So just wanting to touch on that piece, how important it is to establish those relationships and even if you lose those relationships through circumstances that happen called life, um, there is a way to get that back. So it's not really lost. This, this is that is that like the play on word with the title? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's not really lost. Yeah. So, uh, going to you two ladies, the actresses, what about this project drew you to want to be part of it? Actually, it wasn't really about the project at first. It was really about Lakeisha. Um, because I actually met her through an event that she hosted here locally for actors. And I really loved the event, and then I loved what Lakeisha was saying and what she believed and what she wanted to bring to our city and to our, our local industry. And 
so when she said I'm having auditions, I was like, I don't care what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. I know your character. I know what you believe in. And yeah, so I'm going to audition. Well, for me, it was about the project because I didn't know Lakeisha <laughs> at that time. Okay. But I did see the posting on Facebook and I was like, well, this looks like a pretty interesting thing, you know, film. Um, and I did some research on Living Life Productions and realized that they were a faith-based company. And I was like, well, at least I know I won't be getting naked or cussing. <laughs> right. So I went to the audition, you know, just hands up in the air, didn't know what to expect. And uh, I read for um, the character I'm playing, Cynthia, and it was a very dramatic and intense scene. And I was like, wow. Um, and when she called me back and told me that I had the part, I was very floored and elaborated. From your perspective as actresses, why do you think people should come see this film? People are going to see themselves in this film at some point, even if it's not within their own life. Somebody that they know may be going through this. And so I think that this film will definitely touch some souls and it will definitely minister to some people and let them know that even though life may happen, you can always redeem yourself. I think for me, that's what this is of this art form is about is playing characters that people can just really relate with and not feel so alone in their journey and um, they're gonna go up and down and through all the emotions and um, really take you on a ride like movies are supposed to do okay thank you so much and the film is pre -pre uh, premiering yes. october 15th at 6 p.m where at Georgetown Cinema. And it is a red carpet event. Yes, it is a red carpet event. So you get to dress up, get your picture taken, meet the stars of the film, get an autograph, get a DVD, have a great time, get some popcorn, and, and just have a really, really good time. Okay, so Georgetown Cinemas, 6 p.m. Tickets are $10. You can get them on Eventbrite or at lovinglifeproductions.com. Thank you so much, ladies, Thank for coming you. in. <laughs> Each week, we bring you the latest community news from the Indianapolis Recorder. Here's Ebony Chappelle with your Recorder Minute. Hello, Indianapolis. I'm Ebony Chappelle, Editor-in-Chief of the Indianapolis Recorder newspaper, Indiana's Greatest Weekly, here with this week's Recorder Minute. This year marks a season of great changes, not only in our country, but in our state and city as well. In November, thousands of citizens will make their way to the polls and elect the men and women they want to represent them in office. Tomorrow evening, September 25th, the Indianapolis Recorder, in partnership with Radio One, the African American Coalition, and Hirons and Company, will, rep will present a gubernatorial forum aimed at addressing the issues that affect our community most. If you would like to come out and hear from your candidates for governor and let your voice be heard, join us downtown at the Central Library's Auditorium from 1 to 4 p.m. As a reminder, the voter registration deadline is quickly approaching. If you have never voted, have recently moved, or changed your name, go online to indianavoters.com to get registered. As always, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Indie Recorder, and check us out online at indianapolisrecorder.com. I'm Ebony Chappelle, and this has been your Recorder Minute. Terrell went back to high school, so now we're taking you back to high school with our throwback high school picks. Be sure to stay tuned so you can get a good laugh. The Red Bull Air Race is making its first appearance at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in October, and here's your chance to go on Sunday, October 2nd. This is the first time for the Air Race here in Indy, but go to our Facebook page and tell us what year the first ever Red Bull Air Race World Championships took place. We'll pick a random winner to win a pair of tickets to the events on October 2nd. Good luck! Don't miss the next episode. We're down with more local and national musicians, meet a local fashion designer, and more. If you want to have your business advertised on Real Scene TV, contact us on Facebook. We leave you on this. Our Real Scene TV featured music video comes from local hip hop artist Beans. Thanks for watching and good night. Remember when I was flat broke? Remember when I ain't had shit? Remember when I ain't have hope? Look at it, nigga, now. I struggle, remember when I stressed out, remember when I was petty hustling, <laughs> look at it, look at it, hey, it came a long way, from being broke, now I'm getting paid the long way, try to flex, you pick the wrong day, cause the girls got 
bigger, I got the law K <laughs> In stock with it, stock with it. But I just won't spec in the guap with it. Uh-huh. with it. Trap nigga straight up off the block with it. Cush yeah. in a jar mid in the zip lock with it, please. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but the grind nasty, I've been on. Been on. SP with a couple zips, that's ten zones. Uh-huh. That's how I play, but new broke days, they been gone. Been I'm tapping divas, just putting niggas and friends on. Okay. All, all I make is tracks for the block. Uh-huh. I'm stacking the guap, cause uh-huh. I'm taxing the lot. Before you play crazy, know I'm packing the Glock. Treat uh-huh. you like a closed beverage, put them caps to your top light. Remember when I was flat broke? I do. Remember when I ain't had shit? Remember yep. when I ain't had shit? Remember when I ain't had hope? I do. Look at it in there. Remember when I struggled? I do. Remember when I stressed out? Yep. Remember when I was petty hustling? <laughs> Look at it, look at it, look at it. It's stacking the bands on me, it's on me. Real trappers, they act wide. It's real wide. money, boy, if I stand on it. Uh, <laughs> be about shack size. <laughs> Better yet, probably yell yeah, me. Yeah, me. Just asking me how, beans. I be stacking up all this profit and filling up every pocket from dishing to selling wild grain. Go. TDF click, we about to lock it up. Lock it up. Whole click with it, nigga. We knot it up. Knot it up. Profit tough, filling the pockets up. Pockets up. Niggas trying to effort not enough. 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 Remember when I was flat broke? I do. Remember when I ain't had shit? Yup. Remember when I ain't have hope? I do. Look at a nigga now. Remember when I struggled? I do. Remember when I stressed out? Yup. Remember when I was petty hustling? Real Scene TV is paid for by Leland Brown State Farm Insurance Agency.